Hello everyone. So um, in this video, um, we're going to talk about a hero. I know it's been a while since we made any videos, but you know, um, everybody's schedule is not stable. So I will try to make it more regular, making videos about heroes in the next period in general. Now, let's jump to our topic. Let's try to make it full of information and brief. Um, we will talk about um, a legendary tank, Neza. She was um, the most demanded hero in the previous video's comments section. So we will have a small review about her. And I will show you maybe one or two battles of how she performed. And um, let's start. Let's start the whole thing. First of all, as usual, we start with skills. Um, Neza is a tank, which is regularly having high armor but her best skill is about immunity to crowd control skills so the crowd control skills are like edwin theresa you know the heroes which can block your tank during a battle those are the crowd control skills so having a tank which is immune to those mean that you know you don't need to use someone like crash in your team which is more like a burden sometime you know that's what I'm trying to say. Like, um, she will play the role of two in one. All right. So you see her first skill. She become immune to crowd control skills and taunt enemies. You know, second one um, waves his limbs. Ignore the action which happened. You know, the most part is like she get immunity from control effects and blocking long range shots for all allied tanks. So she is somehow performing better. Um, with the tank partner, I will show you the best guy who is using her in our server. Um, he's actually making the best use of her. Now, the third skill, um, when she's taking a damage, there's a 25% of having a spark. This spark, you know, somehow after getting the maximum amount of it, it would be about like turning to a healing. And it's also a good skill, like she can heal her own self. I mean, uh, his own self. And then the last one is like increasing damage uh, and decreasing the armor and magic resist during the battle. The awakening skill, it's very nice. It's enhancing all her previous skills together while enhancing also her um, attacking skill. Because, you know, her ultimate, um, she jumped to the back row of the opponent and do some chaos there, you know. So um, it's pretty nice as defensive offensive hero. Now, um, let's go to the rune cores. The rune cores, I prefer the blue color because the blue color increase the magic resist and the attack speed, basically. And actually, Neza consider to have kind of small magic resist. She have naturally high armor. So... Um, you know, uh, let me show you how is it. Check here. The armor is 2200, almost. The magic resist is 1933. So you see, there's a big difference between both. Okay. So she's naturally having lower armor. That's why I prefer the blue color, which enhances her magic resist, attack speed, and raise his, uh, raise her, his health um that is for the rune card that's what i think is the best color but you know if you are using her with some burst teams if you are making a benefit from her while doing damage you can change the color to maybe red or yellow it's up to you in this case you know what i mean now um let's back to the to the equipment basically right now the active skill i'm using is this one the bandage this one okay but the best one Practically is a helmet, but after reforging, only after reforging. Okay, um, the passive skill I'm using this one, um, the healing cloth, um, this one, yeah, because um, I could use this one, but somehow Neza is more of a tank, you know, like even though she's doing damage, but it's not like Seizo or Smoke, she's a tank. So the most important part for a tank is to have more 
your ability to survive more during the battle okay so i prefer this one you can use this one as well um, to raise the magic resistance it doesn't really matter much you know if you are having a problem with the magical teams use this one with uh, with the physical teams you might use this one um if you want to make her in general having more durability the cloth is better now um we are done with her um equipments now let's check the talents which she have basically you know she is a tank so the most important part for a tank i said that million times before magic resist and um armor but because Neza can be used as a damager as well, so, you know, um, you better raise the armor penetration and attack damage as soon as you can. That's for the talents. Um, the Beast Soul, I prefer um, the Tiamat, um, because it's somehow a balance between the damage and the defense. So, you know, she is a tank which defends at the same time, see she she is at um he is an attacker which attack okay now um i don't know what's the problem with the gender um uh, now um that's all we spoke about the runes the you know the <laughs> this thing is shitty you know just depending by luck but try to get as many orange color as you can um about the latent energy now that's it Oh uh, ah yeah about the star soul try to get her more damage reduction if she is three stars or four stars try to get her damage buff if she's five five stars or more you see I didn't unlock the last part because I mean the last chapter because um you know it's being unlocked for other heroes by now so that's everything about Neza now let me show you a small battle about her so you can judge how she perform um in the late game let's start with oh yeah um i forgot to show you you remember the second skill she's best she's best to be paired with another tank like this guy using her with another tank and he's really getting the best of her um now back to the same topic let me show you a battle of how she performed with no will and snow awakened Theresa. you see um the power is not like um equal somehow he have higher power because of the star soul and the uh, equipment you forge so um now we'll see how the battle goes mostly i'm bored of watching these battles while it's slow i prefer to speed it up but you know many players prefer to play it slow so you can watch slowly now she already have her ultimate she's the first one to collect her ultimate somehow and will and snow annoying the opponent heroes you see by the way Noel and snow is awakened um all his skills are enhanced after awakening that's why he's performing better um I think the battle is done because his Gerber is dead. Once Gerber is dead, the team is like no defender, so the battle is over. Ariel is also dead. I will I'll speed up and you try to slow the video if you are watching, if you are willing to watch the whole battle, okay? It's already done, you see. No scratch. Alright. It took me some time to find the best team for her so if you have her you can use her with a team which is close to that now um let's have a look on the damage reduction and the damage analyzing and so on you know um she doesn't have the full um star soul yet she doesn't have a tick buff from both sides physical and magical she's only physical um you can see the star um, level um she's silver star um you can see here the star soul 5000 to 20000 imagine if they both are fighting on equal terms even noel and snow is also 1000 so no comparison now the damage um dealt theresa is a star of damage dealing usually in these battles the healing received 
um, Candy and Ovid. You know, Candy is the healer. The damage received, she's right after Candy because of Candy Shield. You know, we know all that Candy is right now an op hero, like overpowered. But anyway, she is after Candy. And somehow she's doing pretty good defensive role at the same time, offensive role. Okay. Now that's a battle. Um, there's another one with a physical team, but I'm not really um, <laughs> pro. Like I'm not really recommending physical teams right now, so I won't really talk about it now. We show, uh, like we just showed a glimpse of how she performed and a glimpse about Noel and Snow. Now, let me tell you my own personal opinion about this hero because I know that many free players have this hero from the treasure. Um, Treasure Master, uh, I think it's called Treasure Master. Let me check. Um, treasure, yeah, an event called Server Treasure. Okay, many players have it. Many free players have her from there, and many spenders got her average ones or higher ones. Now, um, let me tell you my own personal opinion. Okay, if you are um a free player and you got already this hero, three stars. Um, upgrade her. I mean, upgrade him. And try to get the best use of him by pairing him with another tank. You can use him solo. If he doesn't work well solo, then pair him with another tank. No problem. Try to get the best benefit from him. If you're an average spender and you want to get a tank, well, basically, um, you can go for gel, but for free, you know. But if you are in, if you insist to, to like to spend on getting another tank, Nezha or Xerxes are the best. Um, but Nezha somehow, um, I can guarantee that she won't get nerfed, okay? Because, you know, if you dig in Google about this hero history, like, if, if you try to, to, to just Google the word Nezha, Google, Google his name, you'll find that it's inspired from Chinese culture. Uh, something like, um, it was... Um, some rule in war and it was the third lotus prince i don't know exactly the details but google it it's inspired from um chinese culture and it would be somehow making no sense to nerf such a hero you know um chinese players are majority of any game so you know it won't make sense to nerf such hero so i can guarantee you that the hero will be strong you know and um, for high spenders, you know, that's a perfect option for you. It's better than Charon for sure. Um, you know, better than many other tanks which are kind of useless. So um, that's all about this video. It's about Neza. You can um, write in the comments which hero do you want to see in the next video. And I will be very happy if you also wrote which team do you want to see this hero performing with. But please... Try to choose among the heroes which I have here. Don't go f like outside this list. You know, it would be hard for me to raise a hero again. And um, that's all for this video. Click like um, so it will be recommended to others. And um, share it with your friends who are playing the same game. And tell us your experience. If you are using this tank or you are fighting against this tank. I would love to know. And that's all. Thank you for watching.